Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. As you saw from the beginning of this video, we actually ended up back in hospital. And if you haven't seen my vlog from last week, then definitely check that one out because it will give you a little bit of context as to what I'm talking about. But yeah, we ended up back in hospital. I will give you guys a proper update at some point later on in this video. But for this vlog, I've decided to film a little bit over a few days instead of trying to film one whole day, just because we don't have a lot on this week. Avery does have a hospital appointment on Wednesday, and that day I do plan to film the entire day. But for this vlog, I think I'm just gonna take a few little snippets out of each day. Otherwise, you'd just end up with a whole lot of not a lot. So switching it up a little bit, doing it over a few days. Today is Monday, so Zachary has karate in a little bit. I still need to do a shopping list and make dinner and stuff before I take him. Gonna try and get my food shopping done while he's in karate, which is what I usually do, is karate runs for an hour. So it's good in a way, because it gives me a time limit, which means I don't procrastinate procrastinate or buy more than I need to so that's the plan. Please excuse the mess in here guys it has been a rough week but this little lady is doing so much better aren't you pudding? She's doing so much better she's much happier as a matter of fact the last couple of days all she's wanted to do really is just lay on the floor the rug is gone, you'll know what I mean if you watch my vlogs, the rug's gone. So we've just been using a nice cushy blanket for Avery to lay on on the floor and she's been really happy laying on the floor which I'm actually really happy about because normally she's only happy in that thing there and I appreciate it but I feel like she's just got a bit more freedom here and I wonder that if she's kind of left to it, is she going to, you know, reach for things when we're not looking? So I put a couple of toys next to her and if she wants to try and reach for them, she can. Who's that? <laughs> Gorgeous girl. You're so much happier, aren't you? Definitely on the mend. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Also, guys, I realised the other day her hair is now long enough to put in a plait. So she's rocking a little plait today. Another hairstyle for mummy to play with. So yeah, she's doing a whole lot better. Me, on the other hand, I think I'm coming down with something or maybe it's just that I'm a little bit run down. I'm not sure if you can hear it in my voice. I've got a bit of a frog in my throat and I've been coughing a bit. I have taken a test. It's not the C word. I honestly think just because of the last week, I'm just a little bit run down. But it's fine, I feel okay. I just feel a little bit sore in my throat. I will definitely give you an update on everything that's gone on a bit later on in this vlog. <laughs> Done the food shopping, just waiting to pick Zach up from karate. Well, I'm outside, I'm just waiting for him to finish. I ended up spending about a week where I didn't film and honestly, that's made me so, so grateful that I actually film as far ahead as I do. Um, if you've watched some of my videos, then you might know that um, I film my videos about two weeks ahead or two weeks in advance. So what you see is about two weeks behind real time but anyway i ended up taking about a week out just because of avery being so poorly and having to go to hospital so much and generally just being tired if you want some more real time content then definitely check us out over on instagram um i post on my stories and that is kind of real time and then i also post in my feed quite frequently but yeah i kind of like the system i have over here on youtube just in case things happen and i do need to take time out kind of like what happened in the last week then it won't affect my kind of upload schedule and you guys will still get two new videos every week. 
Anyway, um, another thing that I've actually been focusing my time on over the last few days is I'm actually moving my website over to a different platform. So I was with GoDaddy and I used their website builder, which was fine um, to start with. I've got no idea about websites, so it was really easy to set up but I quickly started to realize it was quite limited in what I could do with it. So I moved over to um, WordPress and basically I had to start again. I had to start from scratch. Luckily I did save all of my kind of blog posts and stuff. So all of that will still be there. But if any of you guys have used WordPress, then you will know it's a little bit trickier than using just a basic website builder. Um, there's code and what is a widget i've got no idea what a widget is and plugins and all sorts and i'm not very tech savvy so i am struggling a little bit with it but i will get there with a little bit of help of google and youtube i'll get there in the end and hopefully my website will be back online by the time this vlog goes out fingers crossed it will look a bit different just because the sort of templates and stuff are different um but all of the blog posts will still be there and i still do intend to keep posting blog posts at least twice a month is my goal at the minute i just don't want to tap myself out too much with how much i'm doing if you know what i mean obviously first and foremost my priority is the kids and avery and her therapies and stuff um when the boys are at school that is what i need to focus most of my time on so i'm kind of just doing what i have time for what i can kind of slotting in my free time so i hope it's working for you guys um morning guys it's the next day i sound really rough this morning woke up with a really sore throat um it's been lingering for a few days i don't feel ill i don't feel like i'm getting a cold it's just my throat so i do think i'm just a little bit run down but it's fine there's a few things i would like to get done today um i received the order for all the boys school clothes like last week and i've still not even opened the package yet so i really need to go through their school clothes and uh, label them and wash the jumpers and stuff and I would like to get the boys to the shop to buy their school shoes if I get time. Luckily my husband's home at the moment so I don't need to wait till the evening to do that. My website is back up and running. There's just one more thing I need to do to it and that is redirect all of the links that I've put out there just so I don't have to go back in and change them because some of them are in story highlights and stuff on Instagram and I don't think I can change those without completely remaking them. So yeah. Avery's doing good, she's having her feed at the minute, the boys are having their breakfast. Oh, are you happy girly this morning? Avery? Yes. Oh, are you happy girly this morning? Hello, Pudding. Oh, we're happy girly. We're happy girly. She's on the mend. Aren't you, Puds? Yeah. Oh, I think she's kicking me to lift off. Oh. She's kicking you? Yep, she's kicking me to lift off. Kicking you to lift off. Yeah, look, she was moving in because she was... Elias, have you finished your breakfast? Mm -hmm. Go back to the table, please. Gorgeous girl. What are you talking? Who are you Gorgeous. talking? <laughs> look at Ali. She's given us so many more smiles now that she's better. Yeah. And she's even started to give us a few little giggles, haven't you, Pudding? Yeah. redirects <clears throat> excuse me um yeah that's all done so hopefully all the links in my stories and stuff should be directing the blog posts to the new blog posts i guess that's how it works um, i have tested them all um it works for me so hopefully that just means it works um something else i forgot to mention today i am going to start avery back on her blended diet transition i'm gonna start from the beginning going back to giving her one blend a day um probably just what she's used to having um and then start from there i don't want to kind of go back into where we were before she got poorly just in case it messes things up because i really want this to work um, especially now with everything that's gone on the last week we really need to figure out a way to control her reflux or manage it at least so yeah that's the plan I 
feel like I look tiny in the viewfinder. <laughs> Zoom in just a little bit. No, I still look tiny. That's a bit better. That'll do. That'll do. This is all the school uniform that I ordered for the boys. Like I said, not opened it yet and I really should go through it. If you didn't watch the video where I ordered all this, I ended up getting it all on George at Asda, which is... Um, uh, UK supermarket clothing brand. Really inexpensive. I like to go affordable for, well, most of the kids' clothes, but especially school clothes because they go through them so fast. They only really last one year. And also I like to put them in a fresh pair of clothes every morning. So I like to buy enough so they have enough each day of the week. Okay, so we have some trousers. These are seven to eight, so these are Eli's. I always buy the um, trousers with adjustable waists just so I can make sure they actually fit them here, especially with Zach. Zach is quite long, but he's very slender. So I find that if I just buy him, um, so he's nine. So if I just buy him nine to 10 and leave it, or they don't have an adjustable waist, then they'll just keep falling down because they're too big on the waist. And same as if I try and get him a smaller size, they'd just be too short. So always buy an adjustable waist. Jumpers, seven to eight, these are Eli's. These were in a five pack and they cost £17.50, which I don't think is bad for the entire week's school jumpers. Eli especially goes through them like mad because he gets them really, really messy. I had to buy Zach a new pair of joggers for PE and these were £10 for two. I didn't need two pairs but the stock was limited on Asda because I'm guessing everyone's doing their school clothes shopping at the minute. Bought them both a new pair of pumps um, for PE. Funny fact, uh, my boys are both in the same size shoes. They're both kind of going into size one but they're two years apart. Either Eli's got big feet or Zach's got little feet. And then white polo shirts. And then I also bought a pack of plain white t-shirts. They use white t-shirts for PE. Um, I didn't need five, I only needed two, but this is the only pack they had. Um, but I did think when it comes to um, kind of certain days that the schools host. So last year they did a day for raising money for Ukraine and they kind of had to go in in um, white and blue and then they did a day for the Queen's Jubilee. So I thought white t-shirts are always good because you can kind of decorate the front of them to suit the theme of whatever they're doing. So I'm not mad that I had to get five. And a new pair of PE shorts for Zach. He wouldn't have needed these had he bought home his PE kit last year, but he didn't, so I had to buy Zach a whole new PE kit. And that's everything. So I paid about £110 for all of this with delivery. And that's really good. I'm really happy with it. I do need to sort it all out. I need to wash it, especially the jumpers. The jumpers I always wash because I find that if they wear them without them being washed first, then the first day of school they come home, take their jumper off, and their white shirt is just covered in kind of blue fluff so i always wash and iron the jumpers but yeah i do need to sort it all out i need to get it all folded and put away and stuff and i also need to try the trousers on the boys so i can adjust the waists but to be honest i think that's a job for another day i also need to label everything oh the bane of my life every year is having to label all of their school clothes a job for another day i think finally going to be testing out the vitamix for the first time guys This is so much quieter than all of my other blenders. So I just finished doing all the rough cuts of the footage that I've got so far and I've actually got about 15 minutes worth of footage. I think that's one of my biggest challenges really is figuring out how much I actually need to film to have enough content for a video because I thought I would need to be filming snippets all week to get one video and I've managed to get enough footage in two days. So as promised, before I close out this vlog, I thought I'd sit down and just give you an update on everything that's been happening the last week or so with Avery and her health in particular. 
Um, so I'll start from where I kind of left off in the last vlog. Like I said, if you've not watched that one yet, then definitely check that one out to kind of get the first part of this story and kind of the context as to where I'm coming from. Avery was home from our first visit to the hospital and she had antibiotics because they diagnosed her with a UTI. Her urine sample had come back with bacteria. She had antibiotics and we thought that was it. She was gonna be on the ment. But um, on the Tuesday, so it was the Friday night we took her into hospital. The following Tuesday, she was still throwing up. We still weren't able to get her feeds back up to their normal volume. She just wasn't getting enough, I knew that. I had tried to give her a normal feed at the normal volume she would have and she just threw it up. So I spoke to her community nurse and she advised us to take her back to the hospital or call the hospital, which I did. And then the hospital said it was worth just bringing her back in to get checked over again basically and I'm so glad that we did. So we went into the hospital again, they did another urine sample, by they I mean my husband got another urine sample and they sent that off to get tested and the doctor that was on shift that evening said that because she was throwing up the likelihood was she probably wasn't keeping down the antibiotics for them to work so she would need to have IV antibiotics which meant she needed a cannula put in. So she had the cannula put in she had the first dose of antibiotics and off we went. And then the plan was that we had to keep going back to the hospital every 24 hours for her to have the next dose of the antibiotic, which is good really because they could have made a stay, which wouldn't have been ideal. We did get to go home though. Avery just had to have the cannula in her hand. So 24 hours later, this was now Wednesday evening, we went back to the hospital to get Avery's next dose of antibiotics. Now the time that we ended up going to hospital was a little bit inconvenient because it happened to be the nurses change over time which meant we were waiting quite a while just for a nurse to come and administer the antibiotics and then when she did we realized that her cannula had actually stopped working Avery had somehow managed to um, kink it so it had come out a little bit and it was kinked so there was no way that the nurse was going to be able to get the antibiotics into the cannula so they took the cannula out and then we had to wait around for a while for or a doctor to advise us on what we do next. Um, we did explain to them that we had this issue in Bristol when she had her gastrostomy surgery. Avery's cannulas tend to stop working a little bit earlier than most. I think normally they last around 48 hours. Avery's rarely lasted 24 hours. So then the advice from then was to switch to injectable antibiotics, which is what we did. So that night she had her first dose of injectable antibiotics. She had one in each thigh. It was heartbreaking. The doctor did say to go down to the x-ray department and just get Avery's chest x-rayed just because I told them that she had had this nasty cough for weeks and it was persistent and it was getting worse if anything. So we took her for an x-ray before we went home and then we went home. We ended up being at the hospital for five hours that night. So we actually got home after midnight, I wanna say, and thank goodness for my mum. She was an absolute lifesaver through all of this because she was basically on call to watch the boys whenever we needed to take Avery to the hospital. So the plan from here was to keep taking her back to the hospital every 24 hours to get her injectable antibiotic dose. So on the Thursday night, 24 hours later, we took her back into hospital. She had her antibiotics and then the doctor came to see us about Avery's chest x-ray results and he said that they looked okay but there were some changes in her lungs that suggested that she may have had a mild case of aspiration pneumonia. Now I'm assuming that that sounds a lot scarier than it actually was for us. I know that it can be quite bad but the doctor said it was nothing for us to worry about. It was a very mild case and that what we should do because at this point Avery was now managing to keep things down. We assume it was just the work of the antibiotics making her feel better. She was keeping all of her feeds down down. The doctor said that we should now switch to oral antibiotics and he would prescribe an antibiotic that targeted uh, aspiration pneumonia but would also treat the UTI as well. So that is what we decided to do. The following day my husband went into the hospital and picked up the oral antibiotics. We gave her those antibiotics for around three days so basically over the weekend and then on Monday morning I had a phone call from the same doctor that we saw when we were taking Avery into hospital 
who said that um, Avery's urine sample had come back and it was actually growing a bacteria that isn't treated by standard antibiotics or by any of the antibiotics that she had previously had. So this for one means that over a month ago when I took her to um, our GP and he said that she might have had a urine infection and gave her an antibiotic, it means that antibiotic likely did not work if it was the same infection, which does explain why Avery has been so unhappy over the last month or so. But also all of the injectable antibiotics and the IV antibiotics and the oral antibiotics that we've been given out to this point would not have worked for the UTI. I do think they made some difference. Maybe if she did have this aspiration pneumonia, I think at least it helped that because Honestly, Avery is so much happier now than she was, but it wasn't going to treat the UTI. So my husband had to go back to the hospital to collect um, some more antibiotics. These ones were specific to treat the type of infection that Avery had. So at the moment, we are still giving her those antibiotics. Fingers crossed they work. And then um, the hospital said that once she'd finished that course of antibiotics, they want a repeat urine sample just to check to make sure that the infection is gone. Just looking back at the last, two months maybe and then the last couple of days alone it's really making me think that she's had these infections for so long and they've just gone unnoticed and it's not without trying i've taken her to the gp numerous times in the last couple of months to check her lungs to make sure they were clear and to ask if they knew what was wrong because she just wasn't herself and no one could figure it out the doctors all said that her chest sounded clear when they were listening but obviously whatever was there just wasn't being picked up with a stethoscope and i, I just can't believe it went on for so long unnoticed and I, I definitely think that it was all of this that was causing her to be unhappy because since she's been on antibiotics and since she's been getting treated like I said she's a completely different baby even in the last two days alone I have noticed such a huge improvement in Avery's sort of interactive skills she is smiling so much more she's happy to lay on the floor with kind of toys around her and she's happy there and she started to make noises as though she's interacting and she is never happy laying on the floor like ever and all of a sudden she is and then to top that off she started to make chuckling sounds now she did give us these little sort of giggles if we were throwing her in the air or if we were tickling her or something like that but she would never do it through interaction and today was the first time that I've heard her make any sound that resembles a laugh just through interaction. I was showing her her reflection in the mirror and she chuckled at it. And that is an incredible milestone for her because there was a point where we didn't know if she would laugh. We didn't know if she would smile. And now after the last couple of days, I honestly believe that she will laugh and she is starting to hit that milestone, which is just so incredibly exciting i'm so proud of her but yeah i'm just so grateful that we've actually managed to find what was wrong and the doctors have managed to treat it because she's just so much happier and honestly avery rules the roost so when avery's happy it's just a happier household <laughs> yeah that is pretty much the update um what i meant earlier about we need to get on top of the reflux obviously the aspiration pneumonia had to come from somewhere it could potentially be from the reflux so we're starting back with the transition into blended diet I'm really really hoping that does something for her reflux if not then we've got to try and figure something else out because if we can manage the reflux then hopefully we can kind of avoid any more encounters with aspiration pneumonia but yeah hope you enjoyed that little story time that is just how crazy our lives have been the last week or so if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe and follow us along on this journey i would love for you to join us and turn on your notification bell so that you're notified of all of my future uploads i upload twice a week every week on wednesdays and saturdays at 6 p.m uk time and with that said i will see you all in my next video bye guys